Hello reformers and welcome back to Shadow of War. Now in the last episode we did our siege finally in the Saragost region. And as you can see, I've outfitted our defense with some pretty mean characters. Now you can see here y Yugol and Maku and Asaku and Muzu. And then we have Ushak as the overlord. Now, I don't know who is going to be able to tackle Ushak. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, he can be killed. But I feel like he's really pretty good. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But anyway. These are the things that I've gone for here. I've gone for Metal Walls, Poison Spouts, Defender Hosts, Cursed Siege Beasts, and Hellfire. Gates are activated by, are guarded by Cage Drakes, whose breath incinerates attackers. That sounds like a pretty fun thing to me. So that's what we went with. And otherwise, these guys are just assault leaders, and they, they're just, like, around here anyway. It's not really a big deal for us to sort of deal with them in the defense as well. So that's quite nice. And as you can also see, we don't have very much Mirian remaining, so we might have to do a little bit there. Now, I'm thinking of using my Spoils of War boost for a very good reason, and that's because I actually would like to launch an assault against someone's fortress, I don't know, whatever it may be. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do that. So let's just make sure that our attacking force is doing okay. We are going to take... Ronk, I guess. Should we take Ronk? Or this guy? I don't know, really. Let's... Or, or, or Muzu? Should we just take... Should we just take Muzu? Let's just take all of our defenders as attackers. That's pretty hilarious. Okay, so let's activate that. And we'll take Hunter Hosts with Ugol. That's fine. And we'll use Mounted Cavalry, and that's all good. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so level 233 is our Assault Force. That's pretty decent, I guess. Pretty decent. And we're going to go over and, uh, well, the first thing I'd like to do is actually do a stealth attack with my dagger. Because that will... Can I, can, can, I, can, I, can I not stealth attack while they're poisoned? Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so it seems like I'm going to have to do this a little bit differently then. Okay, did that work? Uh, no. No. The answer is no. Okay. <laughs> So what I'm trying to do is just upgrade my dagger real quick. Do you think I can... Uh, how do I do this, actually? This is going to be pretty difficult, I feel. Okay, so I might have to do that against an actual captain or something like... Oh, hello there. Who's who, who's that? Krakon. Krakon. Okay, so yeah, we're obviously not going to be dealing with him right now. I'd like to just do that online conquest. I think that would be quite fun. Then we'll do some fight pits just to take a look and see who's the best. I think we or we already know who's the best. Ushak, of course, is the best. But, yeah, obviously we can't do that right now. Alright, so our assault rating is 107. It's not very good. Is it? I actually don't know. Friendly. Should we do a friend? Oh, wow, no. Defense ratings, they're way too, way too much. So, I guess we'll just do this. Now, here's the thing. I'm actually unsure. Oh, wow, he's, he's not got very much defense, does he? But our assault rating is 107, so he does have a level 41 overlord. I suppose that's the reason for that. Well, that's interesting. Hmm, okay. Well, he does have a better defense rating than our assault rating, but I'm a bit worried that he doesn't have that many war chiefs. I feel a bit bad about it. But my question is, I actually don't know about this, is the fact that you have defenders in these online conquests... Is that affecting your actual game? So, for example, when someone online kills your defenders, your defending war chiefs, does that actually affect your actual game? In other words, is my overlord, is Ushak, going to be killed by someone online? That's the thing I wa I'm wondering about. Anyway, let's see if we can actually take this, because I have a bad feeling about it. I have a bad feeling that we're probably going to, well, have a hard time. Can you just... Uh, could you just... Uh, uh, yes, get out of my way, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm just going to avoid these guys for the most part. And we're just going to go and tackle the first capture point. And I can unlock a skill. Uh, I should probably do that before we do anything else, shouldn't I? I just knocked my microphone. So if you hear that, then I do apologize. All right, so... hmm. No, pull enemies to you. No, okay, no, I'm not going to do that, thank you very much. Okay, so is there something else here that I can do? I mean, yeah, I could do some of these, but they're all kind of meh. 
in my opinion. I guess I'm just gonna do poison explosion with mighty shot. Doesn't sound like a very exciting thing, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, so let's do this. I am by myself at the moment because they haven't gotten the gates open just yet. So I guess this is going to be a little bit more difficult than the previous one that we went for. So let's just try our best. We can do it. Hopefully. Oh, it seems to actually be going okay so far. I mean, obviously, we are by ourselves. Actually, do I have my bodyguard here? Can I summon my bodyguard? Yes, I can. I think I can. Where is he? There he is. Yes, you can actually help me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so what I'm actually thinking of doing is while my bodyguard is... Oh, okay, never mind. Seems like I can just capture this, no problem. I was actually going to go and try and spend my might somewhere. Because I'd like to... Probably try and stealth attack someone here. Ooh, hello there. Yeah, there we go. Stealth attack. Oh, uh, that's not going to work. Okay, so can I... Oh, the poison is too good. <laughs> the poison is too good. It's not working for us. Okay, I, just, I guess I'm just going to use Elven Light to get everyone out of here. And then we'll hopefully be able to capture this without any problems. Well, everything seems to be going swimmingly so far, and we can also capture this one. Unfortunately, we don't have... Where's Yugol, by the way? I thought Yugol was right here. Because if Yugol's right here, then we can have a much easier time of things, because he would have already taken C for us. But apparently he's not here this time, which is a real shame, I feel. I think he would be really, really powerful in this situation. Well, there's my bodyguard, at least. Yes, more poison. I'd actually like to find a bodyguard that will be immune to most things. I mean, I obviously... I, I'm actually unsure. Do the AI war chiefs and, and captains and various enemies, do they use execution moves? I'm pretty sure they do, because in the pit fights, you can see that they're actually using you know, special sort of canned animations to do extra damage. So I would assume that, that that's actually an execution move. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So that must mean that those captains, those specific captains that are, you know, around here, they can be immune to executions. And that means being even more difficult to eliminate. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to do a stealth attack here just to make sure that we are full HP. Going into the final little area here. Hello. I actually would have liked to have maybe poisoned some of these guys, but the poison seems to kill them way too fast. So it seems like I'm going to have to poison a captain or something like that. And then maybe go from there. Now, I'm, I'm a bit worried that this guy, the guy that I'm actually attacking right now in the online conquest, I'm worried that his overlord is going to be immune to basically everything because the assault, well, should we say defense rating that he has is so good that you would expect it to be really, really powerful, right? Yeah, I would at least. But maybe there's some other reason why that is. I don't know. But anyway, let's capture this. There we go. Nice. Right, so this is a level 19 Cursed Machine Beastmaster. Wow, legendary. Okay, so am I? can I kill the gate? I can kill the gate, by the looks of things. Oh, whoops, sorry. Did not mean to kill you. It seems like I can kill the gate. I, I don't want to kill you. Can you just stay away from me? Can I kill the gate? Oh, I don't know whether it makes a difference, to be honest. I mean, I, it seems like it is actually doing damage, because I'm getting critical hits and things like that. 
but it seems like, ooh, there's two more victory points for us to capture. All right, I'm gonna go for B first. That makes sense to me, in my opinion. Right, so let's see what I can do here. Can I? Oh, I lost my might just as I was about to do a mighty shot. That's hilarious. Okay, how about now? There we go. I want to do a stealth kill. Can I do a stealth kill on your poisonness? Poison? No? You're just going to die? Okay, that's sad. Yeah, I do realize we have a time limit, but still. I am actually trying to <laughs> level up my dagger. It's uh, probably a bad idea. Okay, come on, bodyguard. Help me. Help me out here. Going to need your assistance a little bit. Where is he? He's, he seems to be stuck. I'm actually wondering whether we're going to be able to even get reinforcements over here. That's going to be a bit of a shame, isn't it? Yes! Poison! Take the poison! Yes. All right. So we've just captured this. There we are. And how many how many minutes do we have left? I think we have 13 seconds. Do we not? Yeah, we have one minute. Okay, never mind. So that's pretty decent, I guess. I'm a bit worried about it, to be honest. Okay. So at least we have our bodyguard here now, and I've set him on fire. So we should have this in the bag. But obviously, that's really up to him. Right. Well, yeah, I, I, sure, you can try if you want. I don't think that's going to happen, though. One minute to left. One minute. Yes. There we go. Okay, now, I believe that you can't actually, shall we say, dominate these guys because they will not join you in your own game. So there's no point in me dominating this guy. At least we know that. So that's fine. Got 50 seconds. Haven't been really quick this time. Gotta say. At least he's dead. That guy was pretty harsh though. Pretty hard to kill, but wasn't really immune to anything too much. You know, too badly. And we can capture this. Hopefully we're going to be able to do that in time. Okay, I'm just going to stand here. And I'm just going to try and kill as many of these guys as I can. Because they every single presence in this area is going to make a difference to how fast we're able to take it. So killing them with poison is usually the quickest idea. 30 seconds. Am I going to be able to do it? I think so. Point is being taken quite fast now. Yes. Okay, I did it with 25 seconds to spare. Wow, actually 24, because I... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I need to kill the Overlord with the... Oh, no. Okay, I, I didn't take note, actually. I did not take note whether I need to complete the entire thing with the Overlord in the time limit. I thought that once I got through to the Overlord, it would be okay. But now this guy's going to be insanely difficult, no doubt. Warriors fueled by my alchemy. Here is where you die. Right, so he's got a Karagor, and he's probably going to ride that, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't mind getting silver. I really don't mind if it, if it does keep the duration. It does keep the duration. That's interesting. Okay, I was a bit unaware of that, I guess. I don't know. There was something weird going on there. All right, so we've taken out that, and uh, is the floor... Oh, yeah, the floor is going to do that, so that's great. That's really good, because I doubt he's going to be immune to... Is he immune to curse? I don't know, but he's going to be running out, out of here and hopefully getting cursed a little bit. Okay, so let's see how this goes.
Okay, I'm gonna use Elven Rage, because I'd like to get all of these guys out of here as quick as possible. And we can hopefully do some damage to him as well. Let's do a... Let's do a... Can we, can we not do an execution? I thought I was able to do an execution, but apparently not. Okay, so this guy is actually really hard, as you can see. He's level, he's level 41. And where's my bodyguard, by the way? Is my bodyguard not coming in here? Seems like he's, st he's, he's outside, isn't he? Okay, I'm going to call my Graug then. Hello. <laughs> oh, yes. This is maybe going to make things a little bit easier. Ooh, he, he revives them? Did you see that? Oh, that was cool. That is really, really cool. He actually revives his fallen fallen orcs with, like, I don't even know, something amazing. Something really cool goes on there. Anyway, this seems to be making this a little bit trivial, doesn't it? Seems to be making it a little bit trivial. So, there we go. I am cursed now, however, so let's see if I can... Yeah, there, we, there we go. Get, get over there. Ooh, he has an execution counter. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, he's dead. That guy was actually pretty difficult. And that's exactly the reason why the defense rating was so high. Alright, well there you go. So we did that. That's pretty decent. I mean... I gotta say, that was a really, really difficult fortress in comparison to the first one that we did. And we gain a level 10 conquest loot chest. Gain a little bit more spoils of war. That's okay. Alright. Not too bad. Although we did take a lot of damage, yeah. As I, I mean, obviously if I had my bodyguard in there at the end, which was a mistake on my part, I probably should not have summoned him so early in the siege. That probably would have made a huge difference. But yeah, we're hopefully going to be able to learn from this in the future. So yeah, we, we can do another online conquest if we so desire. But for now, I think I'm just going to go over to the fight pits. Actually, where, where are they? They're over there, aren't they? Yes. And we're going to go and do those, because I always find those really, really fun. And let's see how it goes, you know, because we do need to get a skill point. You know, we're going to get a skill point from that and, you know, a number of other things. So I think that might be quite nice. So, yes, there we go. Let's go. I don't know who I'm going to send in here. Probably Yugol. Yugol is pretty good, so... Oh, actually, I can't send him. Oh, that's a shame. I guess I'll... Uh, should I send Ronk? Uh, I'll just send my bodyguard. I'll just send my bodyguard in here because I'm pretty sure that Tugog is going to be absolutely fine. I'll provide all the sport you need and then some. Another victim. Come on. Right. So he has clones. Now we do have to make sure that the. Oh no. A bit worried about him already getting fired, you know, like on fire. That's not particularly good. Ah, oh, one of the clones is already dead. Great. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's hilarious. You see that? He's just going crazy there. Okay, so yeah, hopefully that's not going to make too much of a difference. And hopefully Tugog is going to be having a pretty decent go of it with his crossbow. Uh, yes. Okay. Th this might not actually work out too well. Just kill him! Shoot! Ah, oh, shoot him, please. Shoot him with your crossbow. No! It, it does not look good, does it? It does not look good. It seems as though anyone that has a fire weapon, poison weapon, curse weapon, is gonna beat anyone else that does not have any of those things. That seems to be the case, anyway. Because, obviously, Nakra is a prime example of this. Any of the poison weapon guys that we've seen. And this guy is also an example of that. Because he has, you know, fire weapon and... Yeah, he's dead. He is dead. That is actually really sad. Because I actually wanted to keep the Mystic tri Trickster. But, as you can see, this guy's a fiery machine trickster. Which obviously makes a pretty big difference. Yes. Okay, so we gained some gear there. Should we go over here and just... Let, let's go over here. Hello. Hello. I'm going to actually do something to this guy. Oh, he's arrowproof. That was cool. Did you see that? 
Wow. It looks flashy, but it's got no bite. Wow, that was cool. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna charm you. I'm sorry, but you're you're gonna be part of my army. He's a vault breaker too. I wonder whether he can be stunned. Nope, doesn't look like he, he can be stunned either. So this is gonna be fun. He's retreating? Okay, I'm 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 really a bit worried about that because he really should not have done that. Because he is probably one of the best captains we've seen so far, with the exception of the flamethrower guy, obviously. So let's recruit him. Yes. Okay, so you can just retreat. I don't really mind. I'm gonna make you my bodyguard, yes. Yo, my new bodyguard, Pashak, or whatever your name is. Okay, so yeah, it would probably be good that I actually remember his name. So, there he is, Pash. Pash Bloodstoker. Yes, you're gonna be my bodyguard. Okay, that's awesome. That is awesome. Very nice. Alright, so yeah, apart from that, we do have a chest, so I suppose we should open that up. There we go. So, level 10 Silver Conquest chest. What do we get? Anything good? Anything really good? Or just not really good stuff? Okay, level 12, level 18. Draining or dominating enemies recovers 100% more health. That actually is really good, but the ring is not that great in general, so probably not that. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that that's all going to be destroyed for Mirian. I, I don't think it's actually that good, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to... Try and find some better gear elsewhere. Yes, otherwise, that will be it for this episode. I am unsure what we're going to be doing next. Probably just going to do the main story mission, because now that we've conquered this fortress, that is all that is left, with the exception of playing around with the Nemesis system. So do, you know, do leave me a comment or two if you'd like to see something in particular. I still have to find this lost artifact, it's very annoying. But anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.